are beckity, beckity, beckity back with another banger. Y'all, today, what are we choosing today? I don't know, are we choosing peace, violence, shade, or education? Hmm? <laughs> Guys, I'm hilarious. So, you know I'm funny, okay, now. Y'all love my videos from the Body Language Guy. Y'all just love it when I react. This is absolutely not related to the law at all, which is what my channel centers around. But I do know that you guys love my reaction to the Body Language Guy. Now, like I said, peace, violence, shade, or education. We shall see. Engagement two years after Mexit and one year after that in famous Oprah interview. And there were many signals that confirmed they were not welcome, as you're about to find out. Welcome back, my body language buddies. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the body language guy, and it would be great if you join us by just liking this video, subscribing, and hitting that bell. Let's get down to it. It so happens that today was the Thanksgiving service for Her Majesty's reign at St. Paul's Cathedral and the Harkos were expected to show up. And I'm sure they would not miss this opportunity for anything in the world, especially because they still need all the clout they can muster to remain relevant and current. Now, I want to... Oh my god. <laughs> the bias. He Mm, Jesus, Jesus, you know I love you, but you're being biased right now. He is being biased. He is being biased. <laughs> because imagine doing body language about somebody that you already don't like. You're going to read everything as bad, right? But are they looking for clout? I don't know. Y'all, y'all, I don't like Megan. So, uh, but I'm going to try not to be biased, okay? Put back our shade on. But that walk of shame. Harry, I want to understand, how do you completely undermine your relationship with your own family, supporting the lies of your wife, making sure people around the world has it? Except we do not know. We do not know whether those are lies, right? Do we know? No, we don't. We don't. I don't know. Y'all on the internet like to like to act like you know everybody's life. You don't. There's no way of knowing that. I don't like Megan, y'all. Y'all know. I just told y'all. But we can't say that they're lies because we do not know that. Yeah, that the royal family members are somehow racist and then expect to come here claiming that this is your home and attending this Thanksgiving. Okay, bye. <clears throat> y'all. How can you say that the oldest institution ever is not racist? Y'all, they couldn't even treat Princess Diana correctly. Like, I have a, it's no doubt that they're probably just tolerating her. Just think about it. It's common sense. Think about a family that is very old, very traditional. They literally helped in slavery. They literally helped enslave other people. You think that they view you as on the same level as them even when we take race out of it because y'all know i love white people black people i love everybody i just don't love when you're mean to others and you're a bad person race mm, i don't care i don't care that much okay but my question is y'all think they're gonna treat her the same way they would treat her if she were white y'all think they're gonna treat her the same way they would treat her if she had a royal background no i can just use common sense here y'all how do we treat other people that are poorer than us let's talk about class elitism right let's just take the race out of it and use class how do the rich in society treat the poor she's a peasant to those people this just like that because let's be honest, Meghan was acting like the last two years never happened. And it would have been nice if Harry remained respectful, but no, he had to play the buffoon. 
Now, <laughs> time, Harry's face was just plain miserable. He was looking down, defeated, lack of energy, and that's why there were so many jokes about nothing changing from the last time we saw him and Meghan at that royal engagement at Westminster Abbey in 2020. You would expect that after two glorious years of free life, of not being trapped in boring royal duties, of living the American dream with his lovely wife in their 16-bathroom house, would have infused him with a joyful attitude, especially if he was coming back to his home as a free man with his whole family. But no, we were all disappointed. We all just got regular Harry. And don't be fooled by Megan's smile. She was also uncomfortable at times, such as here, where her neck muscles are really tense. Not to mention that fleeting display of what we already know as a Markle claw. There was a good reason for that tension. <laughs> you guys, Jesus is actually funny. I'm gonna check these off. Let me take this off, okay? Jesus is hilarious. Megan Claw. One thing, Jesus is funny. He's fun. He makes me laugh. That's why I keep there watching him. No way people can deny this. Harry and Meghan were booed twice, both upon arrival at the cathedral and on the way out. It was something almost expected and no amount of bells, and I mean a lot of bells, could hide the fact that they are not that welcome anymore in the UK. And I didn't that could be one of the more. reasons why both of them were tense upon the reaction of the public when they entered the cathedral. I cannot show or highlight the faces of the attendants, but I can tell you that they were not amused with the presence of the infamous duo. But at the same time, one has to acknowledge the fact that there were people cheering for the Harkles. I have no use denying that, and I'm sure that cheering was especially for Megan. She must have rabid fans everywhere, there's no doubt about it. I mean, if even Amber Heard has fans, then anything is possible. This guy is funny. This guy's hilarious. This guy's hilarious. This guy's hilarious. Dress. I will put it simply. I like what she wore this time. I think it was appropriate for the occasion, and the color chosen was in very good taste. My only recommendation is to be careful with dresses that have horizontal elements that divide or cut your figure, such as the belt. Those elements just emphasize the width of your torso and break the continuity of your body. Exactly the same happens with the horizontal flaps at the back. A horizontal element that makes your back look wider. On the other hand, the oversized collar is good to make your neck look slimmer, as well as the vertical divide of that French coat design. Now, what was that thing in the middle of her chest? Well, maybe it's just a button under the upper layer of fabric. It's that, or a Netflix microphone. In that case, I'm sure it recorded the booing loud and clear. Many have pointed out that both William and Catherine were not behaving as usual when they entered the cathedral. Just for a quick reminder, they arrived some five minutes after the Harkles, so there was no contact between them. I noticed that William was really concerned and was pressing his jaw more than normal. We already know that he's a tense man and that jaw clenching is part of his baseline. But for example, on the lighting of the beacons yesterday, he felt much more at ease and confident, with virtually no jaw clenching whatsoever. One of the possible reasons he had that attitude today could have been that the Queen could not attend this Thanksgiving service since she was exhausted from yesterday's engagements. Catherine, on the other hand, she had her usual genuine smiles, which are also part of her body language baseline. But at the same time, there was just a bit of awkwardness to her demeanor. Yeah, what are we talking about? She can't be that comfortable with Megan hanging around. But as I mentioned, the order in which they entered and left the cathedral made sure that the Cambridges would never meet the Sussexes face to face, or even have to deal with them in any way. I suppose that this was part of royal protocol, that there was some kind of disposition of working and non-working royals, but at the same time, Zara and Mike Tindall were sitting on William and Catherine's side, so that complicates things a bit. And I'm about to talk about something very relevant that Zara did with the Harkles. At least Harry and Meghan were in good company since they were sitting next to a genie, who's part of their team. But what they could not escape is the label that the media has already put on them, such as the Telegraph that calls them second row royals. And I'm here to correct that. They are not second row royals. They are not royals, period. Stop calling them like that. And I mentioned Sarah not only because 
I 110% agree with this, okay? My my eyes, y'all, yeah, I'm going to stop with the shade, okay? Because the, the glasses are just not doing me good, okay? Now, I agree with him when he says stop calling them royals because they're not royals because, of course, they gave up their titles, correct? Are we all remembering that correctly? Yeah. Also, y'all said you didn't want to be part of this, so... You should not getting it, be getting any benefits from this. I don't think you should not be called royals. You should not be any kind of special because you let those titles go. Right? And I don't get it. Like, I don't get these people. But maybe they're coming back because, you know, they're trying to, um, what do they call it? They're trying to, like, you know, m make peace with the family. Another aspect of this that I want to talk about is the fact that what if Megan and Harry were not lying? What if they were actually treated badly? Like, you were not there. You did not live there. Like, we, we don't know these people again, right? So, I don't know. I just like the fact that Harry stood by his wife, okay? That's as he should, okay? Y'all know the, 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 your, the royal family is known for being a bit, you know, weird. But I don't know. So, yeah. I think we're going to end this here. I gave my opinions while it was going. But would I say that Meghan and Harry had nasty behavior at the Jubilee service? Nope, 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 nope. Anyways, you guys let me know if you like this video. Smash that subscribe button like button and of course turn your post notifications on so you're, you're notified every time i post a video so you're notified every time i post a goddamn video